life, on this new journey that I'm on of healing, cleansing myself, cleansing my energy, and focusing in back on me, giving myself the time, energy, and effort that I need and that we all deserve. Here we go. So, I am sort of waking up in the morning at 6 a.m. on the dot. I wake up earlier and I go to sleep early. That allows me to get done the things that I want to do in my day and have a long, luxurious, prosperous day. I get up at six, I start journaling in my notebook. I read a little bit of the Tao Te Ching and I start writing down what I want for my day if I hadn't already done that the night before. Usually then I'll put on some incense. I'll begin the process of getting out my clothes for the day. I may read a horoscope. That usually doesn't happen, but usually this takes around 45 minutes to an hour of me waking up, journaling, writing, getting my clothes out, maybe playing some binarial beats, meditating. After doing all that, spending that 45 minutes to an hour of writing, journaling, listening to meditation music, maybe meditating that morning or doing a walking meditation, I put on my clothes and I head to the gym. I've been learning more and more and more just setting boundaries while noticing the difference between individuality and independence. Now for me, working out is, uh, is more of a spiritual practice. For me, I do African dance every day. I've been on this whole weight loss journey. I've done multiple of these throughout my life, but this has probably been the most profound experience I've had doing one. But recently I've been going to the gym, gym. I got a gym membership, a gym pass for the gym here at the school that I currently go to. And so I've been going there and then going to the beauty school to do African dance. And then once again, every day it may not look like this. Every day might. <laughs> we have to conserve our energy. Our energy is like gold. If everyone has it, it's not special anymore. I'll go to the gym, I'll go to the theater school to finish working out, do my African dance, and then I will probably, I need, I need to go to Whole Foods because I need to get groceries, and then I have a few other things I need to work on. I have a lot of really amazing opportunities coming up. The Ray Meyer Fitness Center. Good morning, good morning. Oh, I love this place. Legs. Let's see who's up. After I finish all of that, I take that shower. And ballistic shields. I'm sorry, what, what else are we waiting for? The invincible star from Mario? What was that, huh? Get the f in the room. Like, how did they not go in? You know, which is, by the way, another thing that we've learned. They didn't even try to get in the classroom. They didn't even try. They told everyone that they had to wait for a key because the door was locked. But the door wasn't locked. They just never tried to open it. From that point on, a lot of different things can happen. Recently, I've had a few plays that I've had to read for an opportunity that I have coming up, which is very, very exciting. By the time you're watching this, it's probably already surpassed or is happening for an opportunity that I had coming up, reading a few plays, or I'll write poetry, work on content creating, look for more opportunities, or explore the city that I'm in. So I had to go get food. Went to Whole Foods, got some food, got a lot of fruit, got a lot of vegetables, got a lot of vegetarian things. I'll show you that. And then I actually, mi madre was begging me to get a mini fridge. 
so I had to do that. It's, it's right over, right over there. And then after that process, the day slowed down a lot. I got a few different phone calls in there. I got a phone call from a friend I haven't spoken to in a while, another friend that randomly called me, and my cousin who uh, was reaching out to me to talk to me, as we usually do. Three phone calls today. And then I went to go see a beautiful, wonderful, amazing play by a playwright named Terrell Alvin McCraney entitled Choir Boy at the Steppenwolf Theater. And I saw the first preview and I went back to see it again because truthfully, it was a mind-blowing experience at the Steppenwolf Theater. And so I went back to see that. A day in the life is just one day of an entire life. But this was an example of what a day can be. I woke up at 6 a.m., I'll go to sleep around 10 p.m., and I'll get up tomorrow morning, and I'll have a completely separate day. Tomorrow my day will definitely look a little bit different because of the things that I have planned, but I'm being intentional about it. I have to conserve my energy. My energy is like gold. If everyone has it, it means nothing. And that's not ego. That's compassion and care for myself. Hey, Jesus. Imagine a healed world. It will never happen, but imagine. I say to the healers, to the healed and healing, this is a journey. Never underestimate the power of your presence because your presence is a present. All of these things I say as I send you on your way.